Both Opus Clip and Video AI make YouTube Shorts from long videos. But which is the better platform? Well, you start using both platforms the same way. In Opus Clip here, you paste the link to the video that you want chopped up into this box, and Opus finds our video for you. You can copy a link from either YouTube, Zoom, Rumble, or StreamYard, or you can even click this box here to upload the original video from your computer. And over in Video AI, you just press this button here. You can either upload a video from your computer or paste your link here. But as far as I'm aware, you can only paste a link from YouTube in Video AI, whereas in Opus, you can paste links from all of those websites that I mentioned earlier. There's one thing that Opus Clip does in this beginning stage that I really like that Video AI doesn't do. It allows you to paste in keywords down here that the AI looks for when it's choosing the clips to make for you, which feels like it's giving the AI a bit of direction when it goes away and makes those clips for you, which video AI doesn't do. So I use the same 38 minute original video when testing out both Opus and video AI, and both platforms took pretty much exactly 20 minutes to come back with chopped up clips from that original video that you're seeing on screen now. Time being really important here because the whole point of using these AIs is to save us time when creating YouTube Shorts so that we can hopefully create way more YouTube Shorts than normal. So if one platform took longer than the other to come back with these clips, that would have been a problem, but it clearly wasn't the case. But there was a difference in the number of clips that I got back from Opus Clip versus Video AI. Video AI, if we scroll down here, came back with 18 clips in total from that 38 minute video. Whereas Opus Clip came back with, if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see, 20 clips so five clips more than video ai and from those 18 suggested clips that video i came back to me with when i scrolled through i only found you see the hearted clips here there were only seven clips from those 18 that were usable where the ai had found interesting moments that would make good youtube shorts the rest of the clips it came back with were just unusable irrelevant moments and how does that compare with opus well from those 23 clips that opus clip came back with it actually came back with an amazing 13 usable clips i've hearted on the left so those 20 minutes gave me 13 usable clips back from opus clip versus just a measly seven from video ai there were also a few other things that video ai let me down with at this stage that are important to mention take a look at this clip that it put together for me here it quite often did this weird thing where it would take the original source of the video and duplicate it so it would show it at both the top and the bottom of the clip that it put together for me so that was annoying and would be something i would have to go in and clean up if i wanted to use any of these clips and also there was a lot of moments like this where one of us was talking in the video but the clip just wouldn't show the speaker in the finished clip you see here i'm talking but it is choosing to focus in the middle of the screen so not on me or the guest and that would therefore be something else that i'd have to go in and clean up myself which takes away from the whole point of using AI to save time from having to go in and make all these micro changes all the time. Opus Clip just didn't seem to have any of those problems. You'll see here where I'm doing a screen share. It puts my face at the bottom of the clip and the screen share at the top rather than doing that weird duplication thing. And it always tracked the correct person talking within the space of the clip like it's doing now. So another point to Opus Clip here. Moving on to the customization tools inside both of these platforms for customizing those individual clips. Both platforms provide everything that you'd expect the ability to change the design of the subtitles that show up, the ability to drag and move the original video around. But there are a couple of differences between platforms that are worth mentioning. First, changing the start and end point of the clips. You can see here in Video AI, you have to drag this slider down at the bottom to change when you want each clip to start and end that you've been given from the AI. I don't like this way of doing it. It's hard to get the exact perfect moment by dragging this slider. Opus does this way better in my opinion. All you have to do in Opus to change the start and end point is just click on the word where you want the clip to start and press to set that word as the start point and then you click on the word you want the clip to end on, change that to set as end, and there you go, you've changed the start and end point of a clip and Opus clip, way easier there. One thing that's great about video though, is you can add text at any point in the clip you're creating. So I can just drag to the point I wanna to go to, press add new text, type in whatever I wanna type here, and that text has now been added on top of the clip. You'll see that there. I just thought this was great because sometimes you want text to show up on your shorts that aren't actually subtitles. They're just additional text that you want to add. Moving on, Opus just decimates video AI in 
so many other areas. It gives you the option to remove any pauses and filler words from the clip that you're putting together. So any R moments or long pauses, you just press this button here. Boom, and Opus removes it from the clip for you. Also, you just click this quick toggle here and Opus will add B-roll footage to your YouTube short. You don't know what B-roll is, it's additional footage that shows on top of the original video to just add some more interesting elements to it. Now that the AI is done processing that, I'll just press play and show you what that looks like. So if I press play, there's the original clip and Opus has now added this blackboard clip on top of that. If we just show you one more moment, here we go. Opus has added this guy right here. The role being added that's relevant to what's being said in the clip is great. And finally, Opus just lets you take out whole chunks from like the middle of your clip. So say I don't like this section that's being talked about, I can just press remove and it's gone from my YouTube short. Whereas video AI, when the AI's found your clip with its start and end point, I can't see a way to take out bits from the middle of those moments that the AI has given you. You're kind of stuck with the entirety of the moment the AI has suggested for you. Let's take a look at pricing because that is what is important to a lot of people. You can try both of these platforms by using the links in the description to this video, by the way, there's links to free trials, but checking out video AI's pricing. You can see if we click some monthly, pricing here starts at $29 a month for their non-free plan. So that's what you need to be on if you want to get YouTube shorts that don't have the video AI watermark on. Whereas if we go back to Opus Clip and check out their pricing, we can see that their paid plan starts at $19 a month. So we are $10 a month cheaper with Opus Clip at $19 than we are with Video AI at $29. So even on pricing, Opus Clip has got another win here. So in my opinion, both platforms are great for automatically finding you YouTube shorts from your original long videos, automatically using AI. They're both gonna save you a ton of time if you were going through and doing this yourself. But in my opinion, video AI just wasn't as good at finding great captivating moments. Opus Clip just seems to be better at finding good hooks, like good interesting moments to start a clip from. It came back with way more clips in the same amount of time using the same original source video. As you've seen, Video AI just wasn't great at picking up speakers' faces. Opus Clip actually has a live tracking where it follows speakers as they move around through the frame. But Video AI actually saw just struggled to pick up who was talking even when they were stationary and just sat looking at the camera. So Opus Clip takes it for me in this showdown. You'll get the links out free trial in the description to this video if you want to use it yourself. Any other AI editing tools or AI tools for creators you want compared against each other, let me know in the description. And if you do start using Opus Clip, I found a way to make thousands of clips from it in less than 10 minutes, which you can find out exactly how to do it yourself in this video here. So watch that next. Remember to subscribe. See you soon.